What's up, guys? FSC Trucking. Well, we're on our way back towards Richmond. We're going to load up a, looks like a crane at an auction. We're going to load that up tomorrow in the morning. Well, for now, we're going to snake our way out of uh, Portsmouth area here. It's a pretty area. I figured I'd put the cameras up on our way out. Get loaded tomorrow. According to the email I got on it, it's a non running unit, which that always adds to the fun. However, it's going up by my place in Wisconsin, up in Mondewell. But that's very helpful for me. Over the channel, you can 
drop a bridge on a channel and obstruct it? How do you drop a tunnel? You don't. Morning everybody, FSC Trucking. I just got up about a minute ago, got dressed, and uh, time to start today. Today we're going to go pick up a crane or a crane truck. I'm pretty sure it's a truck with a crane attachment, like a flatbed with a crane behind the cab. Not 100% sure. Either way, we got to pick it up at an auction. It's about 25 minutes away, south side of Richmond. So. We're going to go pick that up today and then uh, probably spend uh, some of the day editing later. <laughs> Yay. Don't worry, I won't make you watch that. So let's go ahead and get today started. Let's go ahead and I'm sitting in the... A lot of people question. A lot of people ask me, show your sleeper. Uh, there it is. It's my pillows, blankets, in the back there. Yeah. That's the sleeper. You know, in the old days of trucking, you didn't need a heck of a lot. Drivers didn't need to have these big giant condos and all of that. You know, when I had my uh, Freightliner condo, I didn't really use all the uh, cabinets and stuff. I literally just live out of my bag. And this Tupperware here, it's got my GoPro stuff and power inverter, stuff like that. that literally, that's all I need. So, climate control beautiful when you sleep in here with this thing now so matter of fact let me go cut that off the weather's nice today although it looks like it might rain all right enough of that let's get today started we shut the APU off Alrighty, green APU is off. Now I'll get the big engine started. Listen to how nice that comes right up. I mean, it's pretty nice out anyway, but still, bring idle up a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, now I'm dressed. Engine's running. APU's off. I'll let Orwell warm up and air up. I'm gonna run inside the loves, get me something to eat, get me my orange juice, and get today started. All right. Hold it a 
tow truck driver earlier he called me because it's a non-running piece of equipment so it's a crane on a truck it's an Oshkosh send two trucks but they only really need one it looks like and actually now it wasn't raining all day all night but it looks like it's gonna rain on us today while we uh, get ahead and get loaded yay that's all right. I think what I'm gonna do is get loaded. I want to take the time to make a video, so I'll get loaded. I'll probably edit today during the daytime, and then we'll get going later on. I'm not sure what day I'm gonna actually start rolling back. Watch out! Vehicle on shoulder ahead. There's no uh, Saturday delivery available, so. Today's Friday, so it'd be a hell of a push just to get there for tomorrow afternoon. So I'm thinking the game plan is we'll drop it Monday, and then uh, dispatch is talking about a, a reload coming right back out. Same uh, same pickup spot as the last one, Chilton, Wisconsin. Talk about maybe going to Columbus. Ohio with uh, with freight. Bonduel, Wisconsin. Damn it, man. I live not far from there. Oof, what the hell happened to that van? <laughs> I don't know. Looks like, looks like something fell on it. You yeah, rolled it in and put it into a telephone pole. Could be. First, I thought somebody smashed in the ass end. I'm like, nah, it ain't. <laughs> I would hate to be the, the driver have to explain that to the boss. Well, there's enough for the cab left. He should have been enough. No, I think something fell on it. it. Looks awful thin over here. It's like he parked next to the tree he was cutting down or something. Probably. Oof. Yeah. I have to measure this bit, this bad girl. Oh Lord. Usually crap like this, we'll put them on. Well, if that tag will come up. They're all dead. If that tag will come up, we can rest that tag on the back deck. So if we back it on, mm -hmm. that'll be no trouble provided that tag goes up. 
but the ball the lift at the lift bags are flat along with the other ones so it should just scooch right up i have ramps too so if we have to we could put the the drives on the ramps as long as it doesn't make a height problem it's usually i don't think that's gonna make a height problem. probably not as long as, long as i back it on yeah You're running there to it ain't gonna be hard all i gotta do is just take that line off and plumb it straight to there yep as long as it'll hold there long enough yeah well you can yeah i guess we got tall fat forks you can grab the axle I'm gonna grab up here. That's a lot of reach. Oh. That's a whole lot of reach. Now, if I can grab right here, I'm just chain up to this. Except you're sitting around a while, you got algae growing in it. Whatever, moss or whatever. Yeah. Yep. All right, let me get my truck on in here and start rigging it. Just to see who I got to check in with to start grabbing this unit. That's fine, dude. This, that's her. Everything look uh, as it should. <clears throat> looks like a yeah, looks, looks like, like an ugly ass truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know the guy where it's going, or are you just hauling it for? Him? I don't know him that well. I've been up there a few times. Oh, okay. They probably know me better than I know them, to be honest. Yeah, let me get. I'll get these pushed. Uh, little ways up with the fence. Get him room to drag it out, man. All right. Get you out there where you guys got plenty of room. Sweet. So you want me to detach right there then in the lot? Yeah, you can do that. All right, tell you what, let me turn around. That way I'm facing out. Plus that way when you come out, you ain't got to turn around with it either. All right. Because you'll come out with it nose facing this way too. So now you drive for them, or is that your your I'll record? Drive for them. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to deal with the headache. <laughs> ah, sometimes I get the owner with the wrecker. Sometimes not. All depends. It's very seldom you'll see our owner come out. Ah. Uh, He'll come out if needed, but most of the time, it's just one of us goes coming out. I see what you put there to it, that tag came up. Yeah, I'm just waiting on this one to finish going up. And then I'm going to release the brakes and pull out. It's solid. It's solid. It's still taking air. Sounds like it. I'm sure bolting on. trailer's all ready for you I'll see if i have to put the ramps i have them roughly where they need to be all right. you need this off all right i'm gonna stick it on now That's a bungee cord special. Well, it's just a trick to holding that down, but it's probably all rotted out.
looks like they're all rolling. Thought I saw the drive shaft pulled out of it. comes I'm gonna have them pull alongside I'm gonna have you pull it alongside the trailer. I'll stop it about where it's gonna be. That way I can set the ramps under the drives. So look, and that tag don't come up enough. It'll just dangle the drives down. So pull alongside, I'll signal you when to stop. Have it right up against the deck. We're good. Yeah, basically the drives are gonna be right up against the trailer. Okay. So we're good. Those boards on top of the deck, they're bolted down. Oh good, there's tie down points on the back of the truck. That makes that easy. Now we'll just see how the wrecker man's backing skills are. These I set these, I'll leave the pockets open in case I need them. That's good. You got more room. We almost had to put the nose down because it dragged a little bit once the tag wheels got on the trailer it raised up the ass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't want to walk it off your hooks. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you're done turning. 
Oh, I saw when you backed up, it almost did a wheelie. You saw that nose of yours. But the... I may have to set her down. That's all right, pull the truck to it. Yeah, there's a lot of iron in the front of this damn thing. Not that long ago, I hauled a, a wrecker similar to yours, but it was made out of a 89 Max Superliner. 50K. Total weight, 50,000 pounds. Oh, it was... I don't know what it could lift. I know it weighed 50,000 by itself. Yeah, yeah exactly. uh, this is a 35 ton, so it's roughly like 38,000. Yeah. So it'll be probably about 40, 45 tons. Well, it rode, it rode good. <laughs> rode heavy. I had to go across 64 in West Virginia with it. <laughs> now that cab over cranking. Get it done, though. Yeah, the drive shaft's pulled off it. It's just sitting, they can't see it, but you see the yoke. They got the drive shaft tied up. All we gotta do is watch the front end. Yeah, I was going to say, you can reach it out. We're basically there. We're only looking for a couple inches. That's what she said. I heard different. Yeah. Keep her coming. Guy right there, that's good. It's on there. Need a wrecker to get it on there. Gotta love it. Not bad for a Friday. Somehow you're hooked on your. Yeah, and um, I put it underneath the oh. hood piece because I didn't want it to get tangled up. I yanked on that all day. Yeah, I figure I'll put it all the way to the back. That way I don't have to. It'll ride a little bit better with a little bit weight off the nose. Although you, I. You like driving a low boy? I like it a lot, well, it pays better. 
I tell people all the time, you know, they pull vans and they're worried about not making any money. I'm like, well, there's no money in something anybody could do. Yeah. Bring it on. Well, it's like wrecking, man. I mean, not anybody could drive that, that tow truck. You kind of have to know something about something to know what you're doing here. That, that's, that's actually true. Yeah, this ain't just uh, baby stuff. I mean, I know there's a school to learn how to do all this stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, some of this you can't just teach. Experience will teach it a hard way. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's like anything else. No risk, no reward. How big you loop these? Uh, I do a real small. I got to put it in the right spot. Right the yeah, but you got it though, didn't you? On the third try, only because of uh, we were having electrical issues on the truck. First time we showed up, um, my turn signal stopped working. Oh, nice. Checked everything with my left light, no turn signals. I was like, man, that sucks. Came back the second time, my headlights wouldn't work. And I was like, they were just working. Came back the third time, everything was great. Old truck life. Oh yeah. <laughs> then finally went out and tested it. And um, my tester, he was that pretty cool. Um, he knew I was really nervous. He was like, man, this test is like baseball. You gotta get, you gotta get the first, then second and third, and then think about a home run. I was like, all right. So I took one penalty, and that was when I was trying to parallel park or hit the cone. I was like, ah. there's no way I can do this in this long inch truck. So I went on ahead to at that point. And then I told him, I was like, man, I can't double shift that great down. I was about to double shift up to double clutch up. Dude, I don't think I could double clutch if you asked me to nowadays. Oh, I can't do it now. I haven't done it in so long. And then he told me, he was like, all you gotta do is do the first four gears. After that, you can drive it however you want. I was like, for real? He's like, yep, yeah, okay. And I did. And then uh, we, uh, we were coming back to the line. 